Hey everyone, well, I hope you have all your Christmas shopping done because by the time you're seeing this, it's going to be getting really close to Christmas. That time of year, I guess we're looking at what are we going to fish with next spring? Because clearly, if you're far enough north, there's either ice on the water or it's cold enough, you're probably not going out. When I start in the spring, there's probably two colors I'm looking at throwing in a crankbait. Red and orange. Those are the two that I like the best. Maybe red just a little more than orange, but I will use them both. I like, I keep using this S-crank style, but I just love this style of crankbait. It's going to get me down there about five foot deep for me in Nebraska. That's about what I'm going to want, where I'm going to fish when we open up in the spring. So, red or orange, I saw something in the catalog the other day and it was called the hot tamale. So that's definitely going to be some hot colors. That's what we're going to try today. Stay with me. All right, guys, we're going to get ready to put on a base coat. And if you take a look at this lure, it looks a little funny. It's got some paint on it. That's because I painted this lure, I don't know, a week or so ago. And I didn't like it. When I got all done, I didn't like it. So I took a scrubby and some hot water. Took it all up and start all over. Gonna start create text opaque white and get our base coat on. And I've always said if you don't paint a lure and you don't like it, before you put the top coat on, just take the paint off and start all over again. No one's gonna know. There we go. All right, got it white, we're ready for colors. Now, as I said, this lure is called the tamale. And if it's tamale, it's gotta be hot. So if it's gotta be hot, we're gonna start out Createx Transparent Orange for the belly. A lot of times we just put a little stripe. This time, guys, we're going way up the side. All right, going about halfway up. A lot bigger area covered than usual. Usually they got they marked a little lateral line in this one. So if I'm going halfway, I like to do it that far anyway. There we go. First half of the tamale done with the orange. Clean out. We'll move on to another hot color. Now for the top half. Now remember sometimes guys I see pictures in catalogs and I just look at that and I say, okay, that looks to me like orange to me, and this looks like this. On the top side, I'm gonna go pearlized copper. I like the, the copper look like about right here. So we're just going to go pearlized copper. Come down over that orange on the side. Let it just blend down in there. And there we go. Alright. So we got some orange. We got some copper. We got a little something I want to do to the top. But before we do that, we're going to dry it pretty good here before I start working on that top. Take the heat gun to it. All right. Now we need to put a little something on the top, darker color. The black is too much. If you used this before, I like this one. Walmart Apple Barrel Brand Burnt Umber. They're just kind of a dark brown color. We're going to mix up some of this. Oops, get a little messy there. Hang on, got some on my finger. We'll throw a little water in there with that. Kind of thin it down some. Walmart always comes too thick. You're going to have to thin it. I said a lot of times I like to thin with water. A little bit more. It's that fine line of how much you need. If you get it too thin, it'll get watery and it really will not look good. And it really won't cover it's going to give a real watery appearance to it and you hate to do that because well let's face it we're almost done with the lure we don't want to screw it up now all right now hang on i got an idea we might try something else with this all right that brown is you know it's kind of flat i got some createx pearlized satin gold let's see if we can add a little sheen to that flat brown just a couple spots. There's four. That's four drops. 
very accurate measurement you notice. Just throw that in there and see if that's going to just change it slightly. Kind of lightens it up a little too. I didn't need it too dark brown, but let's see what we got. See if we can shoot it through the gun, huh? We're just going to go a little bit down the back. Don't want to get too crazy with it. I want to keep the uh, keep those hot colors showing. Don't want to cover them up too much. It's going to go right down the back. And then we're going to do the face and we're going to go from face it towards the front. Got to get a little paint down in there. And guess what? We got a plug up. Let's see if I can get it loose. Right, hang on a second. We'll see if we can get this loosened up. There we go. A little bit on the face on that side. Plugged again. Hang on. There we go. That's all I want, just around those eyes. And there we go. There's our hot tamale. Definitely got to be red eyes with that, don't we? Or maybe yellow. I don't know. All right, let's discuss something real quick, though, but while I got it here. You saw I had a problem. Wouldn't shoot. When you're dealing, I had it plenty thick. I wanted it thick, but when you're dealing with the Walmart brand paints, the pigments in the color, the color pigments, are bigger than you'd normally have in, in paint that's designed to be used like this. So you can get some plug-ups. All I did in this situation, they weren't serious. All I did is I put my finger over the end and hit it. And I'm back flush and I'm pushing it backwards because of that. And you can see now I can get some paint out. And if it starts to do it, here it does it again, because I'm getting about out of paint. Hit it again. There you go. So just hold your finger over the end, hit it backwards, and sometimes that'll help you. If it doesn't do it, then you're just going to take it all the way apart. All right, next thing for that is going to be eyes and a top coat. All right, we're not quite done here. As usual, I keep forgetting when I'm doing shad, I keep forgetting I got another do. The thing to do, okay, okay, opaque black. Got a little bit here, just put it on the stick here as I was cleaning everything up. Run a Q-tip through that, and just a tap on one side, follow it across, tap it on the other, and we turn it into a shad. I always seem to forget that. I don't know. Every, every time I get it in paint, I go, oh, wait a minute, i got to make this a shad. All right, now we'll think eyes and a top coat. Okay, everybody, we're ready to put a top coat on our lure, and I'm using... Bob Smith's Industry 30 Minute Slow Cure. It's a two part epoxy. And it really likes it to be above 70 degrees. So, this time of year, this room's a little cool. So, a lot of times I warm it up. And there's various, I use a little hot water, hot water bath. I put them in there, and that seems to work. There's probably, uh, you, can, you can probably hit this with a heat gun if you want. I don't know. Uh, I have taken, I usually take the lure ahead of time, and I'll even, uh, if it's really cold or been cool in the room for a while, a lot of times I'll take the lure here, and uh, I might hit that with a heat gun, warm it up just a little bit. It's not quite that cold in here now today, so I think we can get by with it. So far, winter hasn't been, in our case, in Nebraska, it hasn't been terribly bad for the cold as yet. Which is nice. I save on my firewood. Probably pay for it come January, though. There's a lot of different things you can do. I like the slow cure. I guess when I started out, that's what I saw others using. So that's what I started using, too. There's all kinds of different things you can do. Some of it, you, yeah, in, I guess in my case, in this situation, small containers like that, some of the stuff you use that people do use uh, come in bigger containers. You get a lot bigger containers, and then you got to make sure you get them all sealed up, or maybe you'll take some of it out, put it in another container, another jar uh, for dipping in, and 
you got to be a little more careful with that so because it gets sealed up right otherwise it'll harden up on you and I just thought I I went this route I don't paint enough lures if I was commercially painting and and doing a lot of lures at a time that other stuff might be but if I've got to take the hardener out, put it in a jar, and seal all that, and then take one lure and dip it in, and now redo the jar and everything else. I thought it, I just didn't seem that to be worthwhile to me. So that's why I've continued to go this route. If I want to do one, I can do one. I will tell you, if you're, if you got it all warmed up good, or if it's in the summertime, you can probably mix up, and I have sat and put this top coat on maybe up to three lures at a time. You might have enough time, you can mix it and get it on three different lures. So I have done that and that works, but I don't do that that often. So that's why I've stuck with this because you can just do one at a time. All right, let's look it over good. Make sure we're covered. And I think it is. All right. Just going to hang that up. Everything kind of comes down. I don't know if I got a wire here. Yes, I do. I still have a wire around. We're going to put a wire on it. Let everything run down to the wire and maybe about 20, 30 minutes from now, I'll go ahead and pull that wire out. We'll let it dry. See what we got. Well, there we go, guys. There is my version of the hot tamale. Like I said, early in the spring, I like red. I like orange. This one should fall right in line. Probably down the line, we're going to have to start working on a couple of red ones too. So we got an arsenal to be ready when the ice goes out and the good fishing starts in spring. Hey, thanks for sticking with me. Subscribe to the channel if you would. Hope to see you again real soon.